Hello, Rooter people. It's Kamal Bigham of the Rooter Project. Here to leave you guys with a new reflection. Now, it really has been a while this time. Um, if, if you've been following, you know that I just got back from Southeast Asia, and it was a remarkable journey. Um, big shout out to Canada. Um, it was an amazing trip. Uh, it showed me so many things, not just about the world, but more importantly, myself and forced me to really be in situations that I may have never ever been in if I didn't take the plunge and kind of just um, put myself out there and not worry about what it looks like or how other people might perceive me or being the big guy that might seem like the little guy because he's never been in that type of situation before. You know, these are all kind of things that I went through on that trip. It was amazing, you know, and this was fun at the end of the day, and that's all that matters the most because you create memories that matter. And I want to thank you all for you guys that supported and sent messages and likes and, and all that stuff. That stuff really meant a lot to me being in a, such a far away place, so, so far away from home, to feel like I was home every time I got some Wi-Fi. That was pretty amazing. So thank you all. And I want to get straight to it. Um, it's been a while, so I really want to lay down this reflection and definitely reach you guys just as this message reflection has already reached me. Um, one of the biggest things that I learned about my trip that I want to share with you all is the fact that or the reality that um, not, not allowing your strengths to become your weakness. And when I say your strengths becoming your weakness, I mean, how often do we how often do we know what we're good at? And we normally lean on those things that we're good at. But yet and still, the picture doesn't always become completely full. And when I say the picture becoming full, I mean in terms of the design, the masterpiece, what we want for our lives, what we envision to come from our gifts, sometimes we don't get exactly what we want. And we wonder why, why, why. Then we start asking questions and questioning ourselves and wondering what do I need to do differently and then we try and sometimes and most times we even try harder at what we already been doing thinking that that's going to create a new uh, reality for ourselves you know and is in my in my opinion in my life story I've seen that it's not always about and strengthening your strengths it's about strengthening your weaknesses and sometimes we lean too much. Now, trust me, there's nothing wrong with being great at something and putting that in the world. That's great. That's a part of life. That's a part of self-discovery and putting yourself out there. And that's great. But I'm going beyond that level now. We're talking about you're out there in the world. You're doing great things. But now you're still wondering, why am I not completely where I want to be? Because where I was was great at one point, but now I want more. And I'm not understanding what's blocking me. Okay? So in, in terms of that reality... I'm asking you to think about what are my weaknesses and how often do I really put effort into those weaknesses? Or am I just doing the same two-step that I've been doing that's worked? It's been great. I get a lot of notoriety. I get a lot of opportunities. I make money off of it. It's awesome. But in terms of me, when I'm at with myself at night and I have to go to sleep and wake up the next day, how come I don't feel as alive as I used to? How come I don't feel like I'm breaking new ground anymore? How come I don't have that same feeling of light within me or that connection to my higher power that I once had? Why does that seem to be fading? And it's not that anything's wrong with you. It's not that you're doing the wrong thing. It's just that we have to adjust our perceptions as we continue to grow because we, we make these great leaps and bounds in life. And these are like sections of life, but we forget that life is this big. It's, it's unlimited. There's no way you cannot define how far out this stuff goes, man, and anything is possible. So with that understanding, we just have to broaden our visions and understand that just because you were great at something, just because you did amazing at something, just because one time it worked does not mean that that is the end all be all, does not mean that that is your lifetime, that is who you are meant to be. We're getting older and we're getting new experiences and we're and one of the things that we used to like, people we used to love, places we used to go, don't fit anymore. And we're still going back, wondering, looking, hoping for something to fall out the sky. And the truth is, there's no thing that's going to fall out the sky. It's going to have to be you waking up and realizing that it's time for you to jump ship. 
and not to jump ship to just you know disassociate and be alone so to speak but more so just to look at what is really going on in your life look at what you're really deciding to pay attention to look at yourself and say what can i really do differently what is my heart really telling me that i'm choosing to ignore because i'm afraid because i worked so hard to get here and why after all that work why is that not enough what is this new vibe or energy that i'm feeling within me that needs to be expressed and discovered honor that feeling because it's real i'm here to tell you i'm an example i don't speak anything that i've never lived or ex currently experiencing so i'm sharing these words from my heart don't be afraid to let go life isn't about holding on and control life is about freedom love and joy and the only time we really allow ourselves to be free in the moment and really experience all that love, joy, and freedom is when we allow ourselves to be free, allow ourselves to experience joy, allow ourselves to be love. And that can't happen looking behind you or trying to recreate something that was. Because if it was supposed to be, it would be. A lot of times you hear people say, get it out of your own way. And I don't think it's you that's the problem. I think it's just your vision. Nothing's wrong with you. You're fine. You are, you are a blessing. You are an amazing person. You are, you are imperfectly perfect, if that makes sense. Don't beat yourself up. It's just a decision away from happening. Understand who you are. Understand what you want. Make a decision and go for it. And just realize that, again, it's not something that's going to fall out the sky. It's up to you. That's all I really have to say about that. I mean, it's from my heart, and it's, it's something I've learned so... It's really touched me to experience that all my travels, and as I continue to travel. It's my sponsoring thought at this point, realizing that life is really what you make it. And it's up to you to, to give yourself the tools and the, and the opportunities to put yourself in a position that you've never been in, to show you things about yourself that you never saw. And the only way that happens is sometimes getting off, of, get out, getting out of that pride, getting out of that ego, getting out of who we thought, think we are, who other people think we are, and just allowing yourself to be free and feel alive. I love you guys. Hope that reached someone. Hope you got something out of it. Again, thank you for all the support. I love all of you guys. Once again, big shout out to Canada. Um, thank you guys and see you soon. Peace.